good morning everyone so today we will come with a very interesting lecture that is the processing of uh, you can say uh, the sentinel data sets okay and uh, how we are going to extract a water body from a radar images okay sentinel 1 radar images so uh, it will be very interesting uh, lecture because uh, see whenever we are going to extract any water body basically for suppose some area to be affected by the flood and all so definitely uh, this technique would be helpful and obviously the outputs you can take uh, to ArcGIS Pro uh, as the same process which I just showed you okay and you can extract the water body in a shape file also so that uh, also you can able to do it okay so we will going to discuss first how we're going to process this particular uh, data sets okay so i have one data uh, during the ashini cyclone of the andhra upakul okay so that data sets i have okay so over that data after the cyclone whatever the uh, effect okay so that we try to extract the water body uh, over that particular area okay so simply i'm just going to add the uh, image so rest wait uh, and just see here we have the informations here so under this metadata if you want to understand about the satellite data okay so you can see the informations about the data whatever it will be there so it is uh, already uh, given it to you here okay so when it is acquisition date and what is the sensor what is the product DRD product so all the informations you will get very nicely over here okay so what we will going to do the first is that <coughs> we will try to understand the bands so here you have c vh and vv both the bands will be there and vv and vh okay so no matter whatever band will be there water will be very sensitive okay with uh, the the you can say in your radar image the sensitiveness means is this is particular reflection is coming from the water body okay so whenever there is uh, the radar signal came over the water it will go away to the antenna so so once it will the away to the there is no signal is coming back to the radar sensor okay so that's why always you will get the water body in a very black okay so that's uh, we are actually uh, trying to uh, capture to do uh, the extraction process okay so this extraction process we have to do in a some procedure so first thing which you have to do that is you have to go to radar okay so radiometric calibrations and first you can do the calibration over the image okay so i am doing the calibration over the image and you just see how i am going to extract it. just okay so you just see here i am just giving this data as an input and processing parameter you just check we have to calculate the sigma naught value over this that's we call as a backscattering so we will going to see the backscattering value this is a very important term for this particular stage okay and you just see uh, let's uh, we are going to save it in the read type so let's run it and see the output first okay so let's wait few minutes to uh, to get the output okay and then we will start again to next part of the processing okay so now once this steps were done the next important steps which you have to run that is see here this is my output already is generated but now this output has some noise okay so to reducing the noise level basically we are applying the speaker filter to get the better information okay so you have to go to the radar go to the speckle filtering and see there is a two procedure will be the single product speckle filtering and multi temporal product filtering. so the filtering procedure will be different for the different bands you are actually using like uh, the single products or it will be a multi temporal so multi temporal products there is a separate way of uh, the filtering techniques we are applying and over the single products basically we are applying like this okay so one thing we have checked that uh, whenever you are just uh, opening uh, so that uh, should select the proper one means see now it is by default one is selected so what you have to do you have to go and select the second output which will come over it okay so this output should going to apply over the speaker filter so speaker filter and here there is so many filtering techniques will app available okay so basically i'm just going to apply uh, for this purpose going to the leaf filter and the filter size i will going to apply the 5 by 5 
so now go to the io parameters and then again you have to run your outputs okay so let's see the outputs of after filter okay so let's run it so we will wait few minutes to get the output now see once you get the output uh, that uh, single product hospital uh, filter you already applied so let's open the output you just see this is the after uh, you will get the bands okay so what you have to do you have to convert all these two band from the linear to db okay to get the better of the scales like histograms will get better okay so that's why we just converted both this band linear to db okay so see here you will get that this linear to db bands similar thing you have to do apply before filtering image so that we can able to compare this both bands okay so now i am just going to convert it linear to db yes and this also you have to convert in linear to db okay so you just click okay so we have both db bands of both before filter and after filter so what will happen after, uh, whenever you are creating before filter and after filter so what we will going to do we will create <coughs> uh, rgb composite okay and we will going to see this two different kind of bands okay what it is actually change means before filter and after filter what should change uh, is reflect over my image okay so to doing this you have to go to windows and you have options for open rgb window okay so in open rgb window what we do you just select like combination of dv vh and dv so you require this three band to create a composite and then simply click on ok ok so this is the this is the image of you can say which one is selected uh, this is the second image ok so second image this image I selected so this is a before filter image so now let's open the after filter image so you select the image first go to the windows click on the open RGB ok and select a similar thing like VB VH and v. ok sorry not this one VV so VV, VH and VV in this one ok so click on ok and see it see this is the two image ok so if you want to compare this two in the same window then you can go to this ok and click on tile present so once you do that so then you can get an idea about how it is different of before and after we just see here this is before filter image how it is looking like okay and this is the after filter image how it is actually looking like okay so like that you can compare this two means why the filtering is very much important to clear your nodes okay so this is the steps means always we are actually running the filtering process before our uh, the process of geometric corrections okay so after that i can go for the geometric corrections over my image and you can see uh, the exact locations means now as of now we, we don't have the geometric properties okay so that is there if you see a lat long is showing but it is not geometric character so we are actually going to do the geometric corrections over this image with the help of uh, digital resolution data which is going to download the, by background okay and we just see the clarity of the image okay and you can see uh, the water body is black in a booth okay no matter it's what but water body is black i mean black okay so what we'll do first we will uh, going to do the geometric correction over the image and then we can move forward okay so <laughs> let's stop this too so go to the radar geometric terrain correction range range doppler terrain corrections okay here you have to give the output of three by the pulse selected because as i selected is a three so whatever you selected that will be going to select it okay go to the processing parameters you just see all this fine satyam 3d m is going to download so it will take few minutes time when we run it so we will going to check the output okay so let's wait few minutes to get the output 
okay so as now you just see the output is ready okay so i'm just ex stop expanding all this okay so i'm expanding this particular pad okay which is required of final pad okay so now what you have to do you have to convert it in db same level okay click on the linear to db click on yes that also you can click on linear to uh, db okay and click on yes okay so this is the <coughs> very very specific things which you have to do now what you have to do you have to convert this as a band okay so just uh, do right click and convert this as a band then you have to convert it as a band okay so now you go to the file and click on save products so what will happen your products will save this as a band okay the final products it will save it as a band so the next things which we are going to do we are going to create a histogram over this particular bands so basically we will try to focus over the vv band okay and over the vv we will going to create a histogram and using the histogram only we will able to understand the differences of the peaks okay so usually uh, this type of images we have seen the high back scatter over the lang so obviously the lang histogram is always higher than the normal uh, histogram of your word ball okay so what we will try to do we will try to understand the histogram of uh, the land and the histogram of the water so whatever will the low histogram will come so obviously that will be my water histogram so we have to check the uh, the value of the back scatter what is coming okay so using that we will going to target the water and we will going to extract it so that is the process of how we will going to do the targeting of the water pixels okay so to doing this you have to go to this analysis okay or else uh, you can open this pb band okay like uh, i'm just opening this pb band see this is the pb band now you are able to see this is the pb band as it is considered uh, the name only for the land so land value will get so automatically it will subset the uh, your the c area okay so now uh, let's open the analysis and click on this histogram okay so vv is already selected so you want to see the vv one so click on this refresh so what it will going to do it will computing your histogram for this particular band okay and once it will come out then we will going to see what is the output of that particular histogram which will going to do the analysis okay so now it is very clear that see you have the two peaks almost one is this peak and one is this peak okay so obviously your this peaks will be your land peak because you know there over the land we have very strong back scattering like that is from like from the built up area it is a double bouncing okay or from the vegetation it is a volumetric uh, back scattering will come so that's why it's a very good over that and over the uh, water body as it is going away from the your antenna so obviously the back scattering value will come in next so we will take a, a, a certain value suppose for this particular value i am just considering 20 okay so 20 or uh, less than 20 will be good to extract the water body okay so how we going to extract it now so you just see here we have options you can go to the raster you have band map okay you can give a name suppose the water one okay so water one i am going to give by expression from this okay like vv okay is uh, operator is greater than equal to suppose minus 20 okay so let me equal to minus 20 so that i am just giving okay and then click on okay and see okay and see this is the output okay so you just see there is some water body but this river is not extracting exactly so we can go little less so that we will get a bit more so we can try one more time with the pan map okay final water bottle okay so this actually you have to do hit and trial and you have to go for it so i tried it over i 18 so i'm just trying it on that so let's see you can go for pv operator 
I'm equal to minus 18. Okay, so click on OK, click on OK, and see this output. It's much better. Results you will get it from it. Okay, so if I zoom it over this place, you just see. So after the cyclone, whatever the agricultural lands are there at that time. Okay, all it is under water now. Okay, so these are the most of the you can say agricultural land which are uh, under water after this cyclone of Asli. Okay, so it is a very good uh, information about how it is actually working. Okay, and uh, now you can take this in, in your ArcGIS Pro and if you want to extract the water body as a shape file, so that you can do. So simply you can save as it in uh, we already teach you how to import it uh, in, in the format of uh, that ArcGIS or TIFF okay GOT for TIFF format you can save it okay take it in ArcGIS Pro okay and then here there you can classify it in a two group zero and one okay so and then one should be your value of water body so you can convert that into a, a, a polygon okay raster to polygon and then extract the value with one using the special query so that is the very easiest way to extract the water body in in rgs pro if you want to do any kind of flood based analysis okay so using the combinations of the same snap and rgs pro you can do very nice mapping over the flood so that's all from my side for this today's lecture thank you thank you everyone thank you